Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Terry Doherty with the Mom's Choice Awards, and I'm here this afternoon with award-winning author Tom Knoll, author of The Bicycle Fence. Welcome to BEA, Tom. Thank you. So this is your first BEA? This is my first BEA. Uh, no, not my first BEA, but first time performing in the BEA. As so as how's... Like. How's the experience so it's, far today? The experience is fabulous. It really Isn't is wonderful. It, you know, it really I love the energy the, on this floor. The energy, all the people, all the exciting books that are out there. I mean, all of them. <laughs> well, yeah. let's talk about this, this book. exciting exactly. book. Exactly. Speaking of energy. Exactly. This is a book about that is part of a recycling series. Yes. How did this come to be? This came about when I was doing my research. I actually had a bicycle fence. Uh, the book is more or less an autobiography of my life. So it is a nonfiction <laughs> book. <laughs> and, we like uh, nonfiction. We like nonfiction. So it's like, uh, so it's a story of my life, and uh, with the and teaching kids about recycling, but in a fun, exciting way. I have technical terms in the back of the book, which has 15 uh, things that the kids can do to help save the planet, but I have a storyline to go along with that. And it was a fun idea to get the kids uh, excited in a story before we teach them about recycling. Now, did you test the book with kids before you yes, went final? Yeah. So what kind of reactions were you getting? Uh, very much, very positive. But I also had the bicycle fence in the neighborhood, which I was testing it in the, in the well, state. That, that helps. Was, yeah, th that helps a lot. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. Now, when we were off camera, we were talking about how valuable this is in classrooms and libraries. You know, it's a book that mom and dad can share with their kids, but it also has broader appeal. How would they use it in a classroom setting? You know, what, and what age group? would you use? Uh, the age group was from 5 to 10. Okay. It's preschool, first, second grade. Uh, it, uh, basically, it's to get the kids excited about recycling. So okay. it's a storyline about a little boy uh, which outgrows his bicycle. He grows five inches in one summer. So he grows his bicycle. Now his dad's always recycling and has a truck that everybody calls a junkyard truck in the story because it's got a blue, it's a blue truck with a yellow hood, a red door, an orange door, a green bed and a purple tailgate, teaching the kid about collars, but also that his dad was fine with driving his junkyard truck, which people called it, but he called it his recycled truck. So, and LT works over the idea that, okay, it's all right to be a little embarrassed by that, but now that he's saving the planet, it's not so bad uh, in the storyline with dad to get him started. So it sounds like, although the emphasis is on, you know, recycling and getting kids about being excited about being recycled, energetic, I energetic guess I about say, recycling, yes. about recycling, it also has a personal story in terms personal of his story own line, growth. Personal storyline, his own growth, exactly, and how he was like a little bit embarrassed because he was, he wanted a new bicycle, but he knew it was going to be better if he recycled one. So dad takes him to the recycle veil, Mr. Salvage's junkyard and recycling center to get one, so, and then they found six bicycles he could possibly use. Of course, they go home and make a bicycle and it looks like his dad's junkyard truck, which he's not happy about at all. So as, as, it go, as the story goes on, he has to disguise it. So he finds a way to disguise it. So this is part of the Trash to Treasure series. Yes. Is LT part of the next story, or are there new characters, or what's, what's next? LT's always the character in the stories. Okay. And he teaches kids how to recycle, but in a fun, exciting way. His dad is the one that really is totally on recycling with his truck and things like that. But LT gets a little more adventurous and creative, so <laughs> that's why he's uh -oh. great. And LT is for little Tommy, but when he grew five inches in one summer, everyone started calling him LT. So we've talked a lot about LT and his dad. What kind of role does mom play in the story? Mom plays a really interesting role in this story. She kind of helps him disguise his bike. Uh, when they think he's going to call him a junkyard bike, uh, she comes up with some suggestions of some white paint. So he'd call it white lightning. White was for Mrs. White because she taught him how to recycle, his teacher, and lightning because we got a flash like LT would be on his bicycle. That is awesome. It's commemorating, you know. Yeah. <laughs> There wasn't Miss White. <laughs> there yeah, was. No. Okay. Yeah, no. No. That's awesome that it's also a tribute to a teacher in yes. the sense that it's, you know, okay, I've learned something it's and it's stuck with me. Yes, exactly. Awesome. Yes, exactly. Congratulations. I look forward to reading the next book in the Thank series. You. you got and it. And I hope you're having a great time at BEA. A fabulous time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Awesome. Okay.